Hey friends, it's Cherie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I picked up for myself for Mother's Day. That's right, everything that I picked up for myself for Mother's Day. <laughs> if you're interested in seeing all the things that I got, please keep watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. I generally will buy myself a few things for Mother's Day, but this year I went a little overboard. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm deserving, okay? I work really hard and I think I'm a good mom and my kids tell me I'm a good mom, so I decided to treat myself a little extra heavy this year, okay? Um, most of these things I purchased within the last month um, and actually these things in this stack I purchased some today. My husband graciously gave me some money to buy fabric at Stone Mountain and Daughter today. So I picked up some awesome things for myself, which I have so many wonderful summer sewing plans. So I think that these are going to be some really great additions. Um, I also have some patterns here. I have makeup. I have skincare. I have handbags. I have shoes. I have lots of things. <laughs> so um, I think what I want to do is start with talking about the shoes and then I'll work my way down. Now I generally don't spend a lot of money on my summer sandals. I do have a few pair of high-end sandals but I just find that right now there's so many um, affordable options out there and because I work from home and I don't wear shoes in my house I don't wear my shoes as often as I used to wear them. So I wear sneakers for recess duty and things of that nature or taking my kids to the park or whatever. But wearing a shoe all day inside is not a part of my lifestyle anymore. So for me, it doesn't make sense for me to spend a ton of money on sandals or high heels or things like that. So I did pick up some really cute sandals from Target. Right now, Target is having, I believe, 20% off all of their shoes in the women's department. So if you're interested in any of these sandals, you can head over to Target online, on the app, or in-store to pick them up. Now, this first pair of sandals, I was on the fence about. I saw a Chanel pair of dad, these are called dad sandals. Um, I saw a Chanel pair that I thought were pretty cool looking. I had been seeing them for two years now, people styling them with dresses, but jeans and um, things like that. And I had been thinking I wanted to try that trend, but obviously at a really affordable rate. And I was like, you know what, I'll just wait and see if this trend lasts, because if it lasts, then I know I won't feel stupid about buying them. But if it's one of those things that's only here for 2019 and then it dies out, then I will have wasted money. So anyways, the trend is still happening. And now Target has this pair here, which is very similar. It doesn't have like the gold embellishments. It's really plain. Um, it has a really great weave design on it. These are extremely comfortable and padded. It's not real leather, but it feels really good on the feet. And I can definitely envision myself wearing this with some of my work dresses that have big deep pockets. I could wear this with all of my jeans, especially my wedgie late Levi jeans that are a bit cropped. I think they would be really cute with these. I think these are gonna be a good pair of work sandals for me, and they're kinda cute. So I got those. The next pair that I got are a pair of slides that are really just perfect with everything, I think. Um, they have this puffy, woven pattern on top. Um, extremely comfortable and squishy, which I really love. And they're easy to slip on, can be dressed up or down. And I think they're just a really good staple pair of sandals. Now you can find so many high-end designers that have pretty much the same design. And this is just, I think these were like, oh, it's this $24.99 and that was before the 20% off. So I saved myself a lot of money, but I'm able to try out a style that is popular and all over the place. If you like something a step above like Target, um, Steve Madden also has some that are almost identical. I want to say they're like $60, but um, yeah, these are just really great and I'm glad I picked these up. The next pair are another pair of slides. I wear slides a lot for work. They're just easy to kick off when I need to run in the house and grab something or slip on my feet right before we go out to recess. And so I got these here. I like them because they have this really great um, like 
woven wickery <laughs> looking trim. And then they have this really nice white feature. The, the sole is like a thick plastic with these deep ridges in it. I just thought those were really cute. These also are extremely comfortable and could pair with so many things in my closet. So I got those. And lastly, I got these, which are almost identical to the black, only they have a heel. So they have this great woven pattern on the top. They're not real leather, but they look like leather. These are neutral tan and they have a little heel. So they're perfect for dresses. I actually wore these today with this beautiful blouse that I'm wearing that I made. Um, and I just think that this will be a really good summer sandal, especially something I can take on our summer vacation. So I like those. A few months ago, I shared with you a skincare brand that I was trying out. I had just received the order and shared it with you. It was an order I placed with a company called Butter Whip. Well, I loved the products so much <laughs> that this time around, I purchased my favorite two scents in a larger, size as well as body scrubs in the same scent and a bunch of other things as well <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about this company butter whip is an organic vegan cruelty free company all of these items are handcrafted and made small batch it's fresh it smells great it's so good for your skin if you have dry body let me tell you you will love these products okay now initially when I tried them out I had purchased three of these little three ounce jars of body butter and I think it's great if you're trying to figure out which scents that you like or which, what you want to try out um, but I went through these way too fast so one of them I kept on my desk so every time I would wash my hands and I wash my hands a lot throughout the day I would apply some to my hands and it would just keep my hands from feeling very dry and brittle you can see how shiny and moisturized my hands are now it is because I swear by this stuff I'm using it constantly it's so good um, and the three ounce size I find is good for having in different places all over my house however for the full body use I really I go in on my body butter okay <laughs> like I lather myself before I go to bed every night so I knew that a three ounce was not gonna be big enough now with these products being organic and vegan I feel like I'm giving my body a treat so for me spending money on luxurious products that are good for my body and don't harm the environment is really key so what I did is I got this 10 ounce which is so good. And this is the scent Tranquility. And Tranquility smells like lemongrass. Um, this is definitely way more than the three ounce. This is the 10 ounce. I cannot wait to start using this. And I also got the matching body scrub, which I used last night for the first time. It's so good. I don't know, there's some body scrubs out there that I feel like are very abrasive and they just, kind of make they kind of hurt when you use them right so um I was a little nervous to try out a body scrub but I really wanted to start exfoliating some of the dry skin that I had and so I went ahead and gave this a try and I love it I love it so much as you're working it into the skin it just breaks down so it starts out you know gritty like sugar right and it just breaks down and it just turns into like a smooth feeling all over your body rinses off so nice and your body is just so soft when you're done using it and you smell like you've been to the spa and you feel like you've been to the spa because your skin is so soft afterwards so using these two things together it really elevated my shower experience it was probably one of my favorite mother's day gifts to myself hands down okay so tranquility was one of my favorites the other scent that i really loved and i ended up getting the large size of is the island sunset i love this one it smells like a tropical vacation and one of the things i want to say about this company butter whip is that all of their products smell so delicious like if you want to walk around smelling like a whole dessert get you some but if you have sensitive skin and you don't like scents, you can still get the body butter pure and free with no scent. I did get one of these because sometimes my allergies are just a little overactive, especially when it's windy. So for the purpose of using on my hands and arms throughout the day when I'm having a heavy allergy day, I will be using this pure and free one. But um, yeah, I love this one though because it smells like a tropical vacation and I just love it so much. So I got this one. All of these products, since they are handcrafted, 
and they don't have all of those nasty preservatives. They last three to six months, so long as they haven't been opened. So I'm gonna keep this one closed until I finish my tranquility, but it's gonna go in a cool, dry place in my home, and I'm just gonna save it. I know it won't be long before I'll be cracking this open based off of how quickly I use the three ounce bottles. But I got this 10 ounce in this, and I also got the matching body scrub for that one as well because it is amazing and worth every penny. I'm so happy I got both. I also got a new scent. This one is Honey Apricot. I haven't opened it yet, but I will. This one will go on my desk to replace the one that I just finished. Now, in addition to these three ounce sizes and the 10 ounce sizes, um, Butter Whip also has minis. And I have this little box of minis. These are all sugar scrubs. But if you don't know if you'll like a body scrub and you just want to test it out, they do sell these, I want to say for $2 on the website. I could be wrong, but you can try them in a small size. Same with all the butters as well. So say you're not sure which fragrances you're going to like and want to invest in a 10 ounce, you can get a bunch of small two ounces in order to, I think these are two ounces, I'm actually not sure, but you can buy a bunch of minis to test out and see which scents you like. So. I'm really thrilled, and in here, let me tell you what some of the scents are. There is strawberry orange. Oh my God, look at the color of that. There is sugar fluff. <laughs> there is coconut water, which is green. Roses and rose. Cereal dust and lavender lime. Oh, I can't wait to use this one. So anyway, I definitely recommend you checking out the body scrubs and the body butters because they are game changing, okay? So I got those. Now in addition, in addition to those, I got some bar soap. I love a good handcrafted bar soap and lately I've been trying different ones that have coconut oil or shea butter. And I think that that in combination with the body butters has really helped to hydrate my skin and keep my skin nice and soft. So um, I did decide to try this turmeric ginger one. Such a beautiful soap. Look at this, it's gorgeous. It smells so great. This is gonna be so good. And I got this to help to even out my skin complexion. And so I'm really eager to see if it works and I cannot wait to try it. I have tried another bar soap from this company before and it was the the Tranquility Scent, so lemongrass smell. I used that bar soap every day. It went away so quickly. I was so sad when I was down to this little nub. But what I love about it is that sometimes when you use a bar soap, it can feel like it's left behind a film on your skin. You don't have that with these bar soaps. Now the Tranquility one, I haven't tried this one yet, but the Tranquility one, I would rinse it off and my skin was just soft. It didn't feel like there was a film that was left behind. And sometimes when you buy handcrafted soaps, you can have that feeling. So I'm really excited to try this one and I hope that it works to even, even out my skin complexion. Um, the other scent that I have here is here is a cedar wood and it smells so good. It's such a beautiful marbled looking soap. I just love it and I cannot wait to try them. So that's all the skincare that I got. Um, the next thing that I got is, let's see, what should I do next? Oh, let's talk makeup. So the next thing that I got was two lipsticks from Sephora. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, but when I do, it's generally eyebrows and lipstick. <laughs> I saw that Gwen Stefani came out with a makeup line and there was this gorgeous red color that I had to try. And so I picked this up. I'm gonna put it on my hand so that you can see it. Um, but it's just the most gorgeous packaging. Look at this, it's so pretty. And the color for this guy is Original Recipe and it is a liquid lipstick, so it dries matte. But when you see, you guys know I love red lipstick. When you see the color of this lipstick, I mean, it's so good. It is so good. And I feel like I have a hard time passing up on a good red, but just look at that. That screams summer to me. I cannot wait to wear this with some sassy little dress, okay? Um, but I love this color and I had to have it. The other color is the color that I'm wearing right now. And it's actually my favorite formula right now. It's, the, it's a NARS liquid lipstick. And the color for this guy is Slow Ride. So I really like this one. It's a good neutral lipstick. I think it'll be nice with a brown liner if I decide to do that on certain days. But just for a very natural looking makeup look, 
I love this lipstick and so it I like this formula because it's kind of a whipped texture but it dries very quickly and it doesn't like get all over my mask which I really appreciate so those are the two lipstick items that I got um, let's talk fabric okay so I went to Stone Mountain and Daughter today and I challenged myself to go to their remnants and sale area which is in the upstairs portion of their store since I always shop Stone Mountain and Daughter online and do curbside pickup, I haven't actually just shopped in the store. Let me tell you, there's nothing like going to a fabric store, okay? Especially when it's a store that is actually just fabric. Um, it's not like going to Joann's where there's lots of crafts and things like that, other things other than sewing. I mean, there's so many beautiful fabrics in a fabric store. It is so hard to stay on track and to stay focused on what you came for. <laughs> I had such a hard time. I was shopping with my mother-in-law, which was really good because it helped me to keep on track. We were shopping for some special things for her, but then also I knew I wanted to get myself some things using the money that my husband gave me for Mother's Day. And I knew I wanted to shop sale items, right? And I wanted to see what's available upstairs that's not available on the website. Now these fabrics are designer dead stock fabrics and I can't tell you what exactly they are, unfortunately. Um, this was a part of, so they do have these little remnant buckets and you can grab pieces out of those buckets and they weigh them and it's like $5 a pound. So I got this beautiful fabric and it is a some type of knit. I have no idea what kind of knit this is, but it's very thick and substantial. Um, I have a feeling that it's like a scuba, scuba knit. Uh, I've never actually sewn with a scuba knit before, but I'm really excited about it. I don't know if this is suitable for like swimsuit fabric, but I was thinking I might make a little dress out of it, like a very little dress out of it. Um, and if that doesn't work, maybe just a really nice tank top. But this piece of fabric is actually, does it have a marking on it? Some of the fabrics had a piece of tape that would tell you how long the fabric was. This one doesn't. I think it's about a yard and a half of fabric. So this could be a really cute little tank dress. Um, and I just love the color. This is gonna be a good, fun color for summer. So I picked this one up. And with that $5 pound weigh-in, I added this little piece of remnant fabric. I thought this would be a gorgeous hair tie of some kind, a headband or a head wrap, but it's just so pretty. It's so nice. Um, it kind of feels like it, like a linen-like fabric. That's what this feels like, like a linen-like fabric. Um, I really like this. If you've ever purchased a linen-like fabric from Joann's, that's what this kind of feels like, but I think it's gonna be perfect for a little hair tie. That was what I bought for $5. This right here is a gorgeous knit, you guys. It is a heavy knit, very thick, very opaque. It, I was nervous to get it at first because it's white, but it's so opaque you can't see through it, and it's so thick and stretchy and tight and kind of shiny. It kind of reminds me of a Ponte, but a little bit stretchier than that. Um, it's so gorgeous. I have no idea what this is, <laughs> and I can't wait to make the most perfect knit dress out of it. I got three yards, it's heavy too. It's very weighted, so I'm not sure what this is supposed to be used for. I'm gonna try to do some research um, because I, I don't know, I envision making a really nice bodycon type of dress out of this. And because it's so tight and thick, I think it's gonna hold me in really nicely. So I really love this. I love that it has this um, cheetah print all over it. So pretty. The next two fabrics are really gorgeous. Um, they are a type of rayon fabric, and this bright pink is just show-stopping, okay? I need some show-stopping fabrics in my life, and so I thought this would be a gorgeous little summer dress. And so this is three yards. It's so, look at the drape on this guy, so pretty, so pretty. Um, and then I got another colorway, and this piece actually feels a lot softer than that piece. But look at how beautiful this orange is. Oh, the dress that I will make out of this, you guys, is going to be so cute. Again, summer dress vibes all over the place. Something drapey, flowy, and beautiful. And I got three yards of this as well. So pretty. 
Okay, the last piece of fabric I actually got on Amazon. I'm not in love with it, guys, but it was like a good price. It was like $4 a yard. It is a cotton poplin. I have washed this already. I got it to make a shirt dress. I just thought it was going to be softer. This really feels like a, let me see. It, to me, it kind of feels like a cotton sateen. You know how it can be a bit stiff? That's kind of how this feels. It doesn't feel like a drapey cotton poplin that I've purchased in the past. It'll still work for my shirt dress, but it definitely doesn't have the same feel as some of the other poplins that I've tried. Um, another thing that is not so great about this is that it faded a bit after I washed it. So I got it because I like the idea of having a handkerchief pattern dress, but um, it's a lot stiffer than I envisioned. It'll work, but it's not what I thought I was buying. So those are the fabrics. Let's talk patterns, okay? So today at Stone Mountain and Daughter, I saw a mannequin that had this little cute dress on it. Okay, if you have a fabric store and you don't have patterns sewn up in dresses on mannequins so people can see what the patterns look like, you need to get on that. Okay, because I was not there for patterns at all, but I saw this little knit dress hanging on a mannequin and I was like, oh, that needs to go in my closet today, honey. Okay, <laughs> I need that little dress. And so even though I don't really like paying full price for indie patterns all the time, I did buy this pattern and it was $22. This is the So Liberated Stacia dress. This is what it looks like. It's really cute. Now it just looks like a basic little knit dress, right? And to be perfectly honest, I was thinking I probably have something like this in my stash. I don't need to buy this dress. But the way it was designed, what it looked like, on the mannequin the fact that it has pockets the fact that it could be so many different lengths like it can be a t-shirt it can be a short dress a maxi deep pockets you guys I had to buy it and so I did um, I'm really hoping that I love this pattern I've actually not sewn any so liberated patterns if you have this and you've tried it please let me know if you liked it so cute the other pattern that I got is the Lander Pants, and this one is by True Bias. I've seen lots of versions of this prior to me joining um, the bandwagon of making my own pants and falling down this journey of making my own jeans. I had seen so many people make these, and I always love the way they look, especially with the button front. So I definitely want to try to make some linen pants and denim pants using this pattern. Again, it's an expensive pattern, $21, but I am very eager to sew up all three of the views. So, fingers crossed for me that <laughs> those come out nice. I also picked up the Megan Nielsen Ash jeans, and I like this pattern because there are four different views in these jeans. And this pattern has so many wonderful reviews on YouTube as well as Instagram. So for me, I thought, you know, if that many people have had success making these jeans, I might have success as well. So I like all versions, but generally I wear a more straight leg and a skinny leg pair of jeans. So I'll probably start by trying those two versions first. But I am very eager to make my first pair of official looking jeans not trouser looking jeans but like jean jeans okay so that's what that is last night i went down an internet rabbit hole as i drank some wine and i decided officially that i will absolutely make my own swimsuit this summer for our vacation the issue that i had is that a lot of the swimsuits that i saw like patterns didn't seem like they were made for busty people or for people that had extra you know, um, and so I wanted to make sure that whatever pattern I picked was appropriate for modesty, but also I wanted to look a bit sexy, but also covered. I mean, it's kind of, it's hard, right? But I, I'm never successful with finding a swimsuit in a store and feeling comfortable and confident in what I've actually put on my body. So I got this pattern. I think it's really cute. It's made for mermaids. This is a reversible three-piece swimsuit. Um, I don't know if this says a Melfi. It's in cursive, guys. I, I don't know what it's called, but this is what it looks like. There are three different views, and you can do a full bottom, or you can do a like a, a low bottom, or a high cut bottom. Um, it has a reversible front. You can just do one that has a higher like bikini style, or you can have the longer version, which I like, which covers your belly. So it has a high waisted 
bottoms, but it also has kind of like, it's not a tankini, it's it's like an in between a tankini and a bikini. So it covers up your midsection really nicely, but it also shows a little bit of cleavage. It has good coverage in the back, so you don't feel like you're gonna fall out anywhere. It has different shoulder options. You can have shoulder ties. You can have one that ties around the neck. You can have the basic, which I would want, where it's just a flat shoulder, no tie. So there's just lots of variations to this pattern. It's a $12 pattern. And I like that a lot of the models that made this and were featured on the website are curvy, right? And I'm not curvy in the hips, but I got breasts and I got belly and I just wanna feel confident and gorgeous in my swimsuit. And I think after looking at so many wonderful pictures of other people built all, all different shapes and sizes in this swimsuit, I think this might be a good one for me, so. I got that. Lastly, I had picked up this uh, pattern and forgot to share it in my pattern haul video. It's a butterick pattern. It's a jumpsuit. It's B6652. It's very cute. I love that it is a one shoulder jumpsuit and that it has a ruffle across the top that goes over the shoulder. I love that so much. So I did purchase this during um, my haul when I did my other butter patterns, but they didn't have a paper copy available, so I ended up buying the PDF version. I kind of regret that I bought the PDF version because there's so many pages that need to be taped together, guys. Like, I didn't realize there's gonna be this many pages. It's a lot. So that's gonna be a project that I'm not gonna be super enthused to do. Uh, but the, anyway, those are the patterns that I picked up. I got a couple of accessories, which I'm really excited about. Um, I went to TJ Maxx and I was putting together some teacher appreciation gifts for my kids' teachers. And I wanted to get them some pampering self-care type setups. And I passed some hair accessories. This is so cute. It just looks like a woven basket. <laughs> I love it so much. I thought that would be really cute to wear with my curly hair or my blow dried hair, so there's that one. And then I also got this one here, and both of them will match my new sandals. So I really like that. This one is just a tan and black woven, and it's so cute. I just think it's gonna be great with all of the sandals that I purchased. I think it's gonna look so cute. Um, I also got, and this is really good, guys. I got a candle and a candle lighter. So let's talk about the candle. This is from TJ Maxx. This is Island Guava, and it's DW Home Essence. It smells so good, you guys. Like, I, it smells so good. A lot of my candles come from Target, but this one, I actually, they didn't have a huge selection of candles, but when I saw that the container, I'm obsessed with gold, guys. If you've seen my sewing room tour, then you know I have a lot of little gold accents here and there. Um, so whenever I see a, a candle with a gold lid, I'm automatically drawn to it, but it smells so amazing. It definitely smells like vacation. Oh, I'm all about vacation, guys. I'm so excited to have a vacation, and it's not even for a few months, but this is gonna get me geared up and ready to go. Anyways, I've always wanted to try one of these electric lighters. It has some really cool safety features on it. I usually use one of those open flame torch little things, handheld torches. And I never want to leave it in the classroom because it's not safe. And I personally think if my son can figure out how to use it, so could any of my other students. So I never keep that in here, which means, you know, when, I, I, when I'm ready to light a candle at the end of the day, I have to go rummage through the kitchen um, in one of our safety childproof locked drawers to get the thing. So this is going to stay in a drawer in my sewing room slash classroom. And this is Redia. I think that's how you say it. Um, and the thing I like about it is that it has this childproof little lock. It's a little switch at the bottom. And then it powers up. You can charge it on your computer. You can charge it with the regular USB like you would charge your phone. Um, and then it has this little slide bar to turn it on and off. And when you turn it on, can you see the little flame? It has a tiny little flame and then you let it go, it goes back inside and the flame is gone. And then you lock it, okay? So if a child found this and they tried to turn it on and they're doing this, nothing's gonna happen. No flame, nothing, nothing. But when you're ready to use it, you unlock it and then you have a little flame. Actually, let's light a candle. Let's light a candle. 
so I can demonstrate. So I'll get up close. Can you see it? There you go. And it's nice and safe and put away. Love it. So what's cool is that I actually received this for free from the company and they agreed to send me an extra one. So there will be a giveaway at the end of this video. If you watch to the very end, one of you lovely people will be able to enter a giveaway to receive your own free lighter, okay? If you're interested in purchasing your own lighter, you can find the information for it in the description section below. All right, so the next thing that I got is a pair of earrings. These earrings actually came from Kohl's and I love them because they're wooden and they have a little gold at the top, little gold accent, and they're just little rainbows. I love rainbows. <laughs> so I got those and I think they're really great. And because they're wood, they kind of go along with all of my accessories, shoes, purses that I've been picking up. Um, but this came from Kohl's. Let me finish up the things that I got from um, TJ Maxx. So I got this gorgeous, enormous bag and I love it. This is denim, you guys. Look at the awesome denim that is woven into this bag. So pretty and it's so spacious. I can put everything I need in there. Perfect for my trips to my boys' baseball games. I can put all my things, their things. I can put a little blanket in here, my water bottle, wallet, snacks, everything. So cute, so stylish. Will go with so many things in my closet, including my new shoes, okay? I just love this bag so much and guys, this bag is so affordable. This bag was $24. $24. Now, I know I have seen bags that don't even look half as good as this one at Nordstrom's for over $100. So I was really excited to see this beautiful bag for $24, okay? So there's this bag, and then I also got this bag, which I carried today and felt so cute. <laughs> and this is made in Thailand. It's got some beautiful craftsmanship. Look at that. So pretty. All the details about this are just so gorgeous. Look at this. It looks like a marbled flower. I don't know what that is, but it's so pretty. It feels like shells, actually. If you've ever purchased anything that had, um, that was made from shells, that's what this feels like and looks like. So that might be actually what it is. So pretty. And then it has this tassel that you can take off. This is 100% genuine leather. It's nice and spacious on the inside, little snap closure. It's, if you hear a noise, it's my mints. <laughs> my mints are shaking around inside there. But yeah, so this is such a gorgeous little bag that I picked up. Lastly, from TJ Maxx, I got this cosmetic bag. So for my teacher appreciation gifts, I purchased the teacher's cosmetic bags. One got this one, one got a different one. And I love this so much. And this is by Bouffants and Broken Hearts, which the name of the company is way too cute. But it's such a good size bag. Now, I generally carry a backpack or some type of large tote all the time. Just because I'm a mom and I carry a lot of stuff that is not just my own stuff. But for my personal items so that they don't just get lost in the shuffle, I always put them in some type of bag like this. I have a little coach one that's probably, it stops right about here. It's not quite this big. And I just take it out and put it in my different purses and backpacks when I switch out. So I like the idea of having this in my purse with all my personal things. So if I'm carrying a bag like that, you can't just reach in and grab my wallet or grab my tampons because it's zipped away. And this is just so cute. She's got a little purple afros. Look at this. So cute. And this was only like $10. $9.99. So cute. So I'll insert a picture of the little teacher appreciation gifts that I picked up. I like to do things like that for my kids' teachers because my kids love their teachers and I know that they are working so hard to teach my boys and I just appreciate them so much. So it's fun when I can put together little gifts for them. All right, so the last two things that I picked up, I can't believe we're already at the end. I know, it was a lot of stuff. I bought myself a lot of stuff. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I got this Sonoma t-shirt from um, Kohl's and it was just a $7 little t-shirt. And yes, I can make my own t-shirt, but I like this because it's very vintage looking and because it was so inexpensive. $7, you guys, 
yeah very inexpensive super cute perfect for work I got a large but I probably could have got a medium that's all right and then I got this denim skirt which I love now I have been I was recently diagnosed with something new great which has caused a lot of bloating and discomfort in my body and I haven't been able to wear as many of the jeans that I like to normally wear uh, anyway um, I would need to be comfortable we'll just say that and I really love this skirt because it has this great elastic waist and it's high-waisted super comfortable it's very much a skirt that I would have loved to have when I was a little girl <laughs> in the 90s. So anyways, I love this skirt. It is definitely something that I could have made myself. It is definitely something that I would have probably enjoyed making myself. But I saw this and I thought this will be perfect right now and I don't have to wait on the time to sew it for myself. So I got this skirt and this skirt was on sale but retails for 58 but I think I got it like 20 or 30 percent off so and it's long so I can wear it for work it doesn't have pockets that's the only thing it doesn't have pockets but that's okay okay so we've reached the end of the video and we're gonna talk about the giveaway if you're interested in receiving your own electric lighter then all you have to do is comment below what you did on Mother's Day if you're not a mother that's okay just let me know what you did on Mother's Day the winner will be drawn at random and I will contact you directly to let you know that you have won. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.